Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from our God and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the reverend priests, the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President, and all those in civil authority and in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For temperate weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their safety and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, whose power is beyond compare and glory is beyond understanding, whose mercy is boundless and love for us is ineffable, look upon us and upon this holy house in your compassion and grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me. Bless his holy name by the prayers of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he has done for you. The Lord in heaven has prepared his throne, his kingdom rules over all. By the prayers of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord of my soul. Praise the Lord of my life. I will chant unto my God for as long as I have my being. Save us, O Son of God, who did rise from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. So sonima sietheu, O Anastas Eknekron, the God who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that it, that is in them. Save us, O Son of God, who did rise from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forevermore. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, Immortal One, who for our 
salvation did so humble yourself by taking on flesh, taking flesh by, by the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, without change did you become man, and were crucified Christ our God, but conquered death by your death. As one of the Holy Trinity, and being glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious so Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To Master and Lord our God, you've established in heaven the orders and hosts of angels and archangels to minister to your glory. Grant that the holy angels may enter with us, so together we may serve and glorify your goodness. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. This is the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. When you descended unto death, O Lord, who yourself are immortal life, then did you mortify Hades by the lightning flash of your divinity? Also, when you raised the dead from the netherworld, all the powers of heaven were crying out. O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. Wisdom. Arise, come let us worship and bow down to Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who arose from the dead. Descended into death, O life immortal, you destroyed Hades with the splendor of your divinity. And when you raised the dead from the depths of darkness, all the heavenly powers shouted, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. You drew the world into your net, 
O merciful one, glory to you. In your holy birth, immaculate one, Joachim and Anna were rid of the shame of childlessness, Adam and Eve of the corruption of death. And so your people, freed from the guilt of their sins, celebrate crying. The barren one gives birth to the Theotokos, who nourishes our life. Good morning again. When you translate the word divine liturgy, it is said that it translates in English to the work of the people. And so therefore, our worship today is especially focused on your participation as we use our sing-along green liturgy books. So please take one of these, find one. They're scattered all over the place. I want to make sure there's one in everybody's hands. We are on page 26. Some of the early parts of the liturgy had some special hymns. We're all done with those. We are from the beginning to the end 100% on the book today. And Ted and Eleni and some of our experienced uh, camp counselors who sing this all the time at summer camp are going to lead us. But they're all going to lead us, not to replace us. So please open your books, open your hearts, open your voices. And let's offer together this holy work unto the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. be attentive. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. This is my defense to those who would examine me. Do we not have the right to our food and drink? Do we not have the right to be accompanied by a wife as the other apostles and the brothers of the Lord and Kephas? Or is it only Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from working for a living? 
Who serves as a soldier at his own expense? Who plants a vineyard without eating any of its fruit? Who tends a flock without getting some of the milk? Do I say this on human authority? Does not the law say the same? For it is written in the law of Moses, you shall not muzzle an ox when it is treating out, treading out the grain. Is it for oxen that God is concerned? Does he not speak entirely for our sake? It was written for our sake, because the plowman should plow and hope in the thresher thresh and hope of a share in the crop. If we have sown spiritual good among you, is it too much if we reap your material benefits? If others share this rightful claim upon you, do not we still more? <laughs> Nevertheless, we have not made use of this right, but we endure anything rather than put an obstacle in the way of the gospel of Christ. Peace be to you, the reader. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. With your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. To you, o Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said this parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the reckoning, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. And as he could not pay, his lord ordered him to be sold and his wife and children and all that he had in payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Lord, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But that same servant, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. <clears throat> so his fellow servant fell down and besought him, Have patience with me and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison till he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw that he had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you besought me, and should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger his Lord delivered him to the jailer till he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Wisdom and grant that always guarded by your power we may give glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. We. Amen. We. Pray to the Lord. No one bound by worldly desires and pleasures is worthy to approach down here and minister to the King of Glory to serve his very nice name.
represent the cherubim, sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving trinity. Let us lay aside all the cares of this life, and we may receive the King of all, and his voice ordered by angelic host. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We who musically represent the cherubim, sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving trinity. Let us set aside all the cares of this life. That may receive the King of all, and his voice ordered by the angelic host. Alleluia. Ita quiero vi mysticos iconis, and this catis opio triadi, ton tris aionim and prosato, and aspasin tin biotiki, and apoton the femere, and anosum vasi, and the name of the Son of the Lord. God, remember those who love us and those who hate us, and peace lift up your hands to the holy places, and bless the Lord always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord ascends with the cry of command and with the shout of the trumpet of God. May the Lord our God remember all of us in his kingdom always, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages.
Whitman, please join along in the Divine Liturgy books as you offer the hymns of the Divine Liturgy today. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us. O oh God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. <clears throat> that we may complete the remainder of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. That the end of our lives may be Christian, peaceful, without suffering and shame, and for a good account of ourselves before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners and let it reach your holy altar. Enable us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and the transgressions of the people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, that your good and gracious spirit may abide with us with the gifts here presented and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Peace be with all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. I love the Lord, my strength, Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand, O... Oh reverently let us stand in all let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace an offering of peace a sacrifice of praise the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god the father and the communion of the holy spirit be with all of you Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. 
let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right to sing to you, bless you, praise you, thank you, worship you, and praise you in all places of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things we know and do not know for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels. By the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings. Singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out and saying... Together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son. You are holy and most holy, your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us. On the night he was delivered up, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this saving commandment and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second glorious coming. Please bow your heads to the end of the hymn. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts, in all and for all. The second son si prospero men catapanda que diapanda. Once again, we offer you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. We ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So then you can do as if you take them for vigilance of soul, for forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment or condemnation, when you offer this bread. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary.
Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always known and always known ever to Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always known ever to be ages of ages. Amen. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop and Father Salvas, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, O Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your all honorable and majestic name, of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forevermore. Amen. The mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. <clears throat> Having remembered all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That the merciful God, who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as a scent of spiritual fragrance, may return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Having thus prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We give thanks. To, <clears throat> we entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope we ask, pray, and entreat. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries. The most holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Patrimon, o endi suranis, aiestito tonomasu, el teto i vasiliasu, ienitito to telimasu, o senuranoke epitigis, donatun i montun e piusion, dosim in simeron, che afesim in to fulimata i mon, os che imis afim in spirete simon, che imis e negis mas spirasmon, alarise i mas apotoponiru. Oti su estini vasilia ke i dinamis ke i doxa, tu patros ke tu iuk to iu pnevmatos, nin ke ai ke istu seonas to neonon, irini pasi. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. We give thanks to you, invisible King, by your infinite power you have created all things, and by your great mercy you have brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place and from the glorious throne of your kingdom. You who are enthroned on high with the Father and also invisibly present among us, come and sanctify us. Let your pure body and precious blood be given by, by us to your mighty by to us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. God be merciful to me, a sinner and savior. 
Let us be attentive. The holy gifts for the holy people of God. Da'ayya tisayis. God has broken this tribute, broken the mouth of our days for a being in it. So we sanctify those who partake of it. Fullness of the Holy Spirit, amen. Blessed is the forever of your saints, always known in the ages of ages, amen. The warmth of faith, filled with the Holy Spirit, amen, 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 amen. One. Brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive me a sinner. Behold, I approach Christ, O Lord, Lamb of God. Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us of sins and eternal life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please forgive me, the unworthy priest and sinner. Lord of God, remember your priest in this kingdom always known. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Joy has come to all the world ever blessing. Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For enduring the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death.
thank you for your joyous offering of hymns today, and we welcome all of you to the Divine Liturgy, including any guests that may, may be with us today. A friendly reminder that as we offer the holy gifts, it is the tradition of the Orthodox Church that only those who are Orthodox Christians may come forward to receive the holy gifts, those who have prepared properly. Everyone is invited to stay until the end of the liturgy to also receive the blessed bread and to join, and join us in fellowship afterwards. With the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the light, the true light, and have received the Holy Spirit. We now have found the true faith by our worshiping the undivided Trinity. Who has said?
Wash away, O Lord, by your holy blood, the sins of those commemorated through the intercession of the Holy Ghost, the Virgin Mary, the Holy Saints, and the Holy Spirit. Always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Let us stand, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, giving an awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having petitioned for the whole day to be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We thank you, loving Master, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in your right path, establish us firmly in your fear, guard our lives, and make our never safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all the saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord you who bless those who worship you, O Lord, you who sanctify those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the people of your church. Sanctify those who lovingly work for the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to your civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift comes from above, from you, the Father of light. To you we give glory and thanks and worship. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forevermore. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the long prophets, are fulfilled this possession of the Father. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, always now and ever into the ages of the ages. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, good morning, and thank you, thank you, thank you for your beautiful offerings, for the holy work that you did today in offering the hymns of the Divine Liturgy. Um, this was a very special day as we're preparing to the la for the last day of our festival, so we had the opportunity to offer, of course, many thanks for the great successes that we've had so far during the festival the tens of thousands of people that have come through that we've had an opportunity to share that which is so priceless and precious to us, our, our holy faith, our tradition, and of course our wonderful cooking. So when it comes to cooking, there's a, an idea with, when you put a, let's say you put a cake together, for example, or some of these wonderful pastries. When you're preparing it, you mix all the ingredients together, <clears throat> and then you stick it in the oven. Well, someone might come along and say, you know, I don't like chocolate or I don't like nuts or whatever. Can you take them out? What are you gonna tell them? Sorry, it's, it's baked in there. I can't do anything about it. There's an expression in when people are producing, let's say, software or designs for buildings or this or that. When you think about the purpose ahead of time, you put all the parts into it, you finish it up, and then someone will have a question, and they'll think to themselves, oh, it's a little change here or there. You say, the expression is, sorry, it's already baked in. In other words, there's nothing I can do to take that out of there. Well, it's no accident, I believe, that the icon right above me talks about what is baked into the experience of walking into this church and into this festival because although it's called the icon of the Holy Trinity, you of course know that the other name is the hospitality of Abraham. It's also pictured over here, and it's the official icon of churches that go by the name of Holy Trinity. 
So the alternate name of that icon, the hospitality of Abraham, speaks to the very center of the experience of people walking through here, and that is hospitality. But guess what? We did not invent hospitality in this parish, and the churches here in America, so many of who, which do food festivals and things, did not invent hospitality just to bring a bunch of people in to serve them gyros. Hospitality starts way back in the faith. Let's go to Genesis 18, right above me, because that's the passage, and you can look it up. That's the passage which talks about Abraham and Sarah. That is us, by the way, the human element, receiving the Lord. Well, in the person of three angels or three men, depending on the translation you use, but the conversation says that they are receiving the Lord because the Lord said, as the conversation goes during that interchange. So that is the Old Testament. Well, how does that connect with now and the idea of angels and men and all that? In Hebrews, Hebrews 13, 2, St. Paul reminds us, let brotherly love continue. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. And so every opportunity that we have to welcome somebody into our church, into the community of this family, is an opportunity to prove ourselves worthy of the gift of visitation of angels. And to go further then beyond the New Testament era, the church adopted this in some very powerful ways from very on, early on in this practice, and I am so grateful that our sisters from the Nativity of the Theotokos Monastery are here because they can bear testimony to this if you talk to them afterwards. They also are bearing testimony of this by their witness and what they have done the last few days in receiving people. But that is that hospitality is baked into not only the faith overall, the Old Testament, the New Testament, but Orthodox monasticism. And in fact, it, is, it was written in, a, in an article in the Word magazine some time ago. This description, it connects it with the book of Genesis. Even before monks began to live in common, it says, they offered hospitality to others. The monks of the fourth century, way back when, when monasticism was really just starting, accepted guests and encouraged other monks to do so. The sayings of the Desert Fathers, it goes on, are liberally dotted with stories of hospitality and its joys. Here's one. A brother came to a certain monk, and when he was going away from him, he said, forgive me, Father, for I have made you break your rule. What does that mean? You were here praying, living your life, doing your things, I came in, you stopped everything, and you took care of me. And the fellow said as he left, forgive me, I didn't mean to disturb you. But the monk replied, my rule, in other words, my practice of life is to receive you with hospitality and to send you on your way in peace. Have we not done that with everybody that has come into this church over these last few days, and should we not do this with every person that comes through? I believe that is how this ministry is bearing so much fruit by the grace of God. He continues, we find this simple scene from Genesis, one of the first biblical accounts stressing the importance of hospitality. Many more similar accounts appear throughout the Old and New Testaments. Whether, and here it goes, if you think, well, okay, that's fine, Father, for monks, whether we are a layperson or a monk or a nun, the message is clear. Take care of each other. For a monk or nun offering hospitality is not an option and it is not punishment. It is a duty and it is a joy. And I will extend that to every one of us as well, lay people. Each monk or nun is, in fact, is a model of Abraham offering hospitality, waiting on guests without reserve. And it has been such a joy for me over these past few days to have one of my main responsibilities be to go around and to greet people, to talk to people, to offer those open arms of hospitality, and to have two things almost every person responds with. One, well, okay, slightly off topic, the food is awesome. They just can't get over how good the food is. But the other thing is, 
and I thank you for taking up the challenge that I offered you last week, that everybody that they have encountered here, from the pastry lines to the gyro booth to wherever it is that they found anybody from our parish, has greeted them with such warmth and such hospitality. And what did I tell you last week? That's going to leave them a question in their mind. They may be happy about it when they're here. It feels really good. But when they leave, they're going to say to themselves, why do they do it? Why don't I find that everywhere? And if they happen to come back, which many of them do, whether through the church tours or conversations with you, they'll find out it's because that hospitality is baked in to this faith and to this church, to this parish, and to our life because we might be caring for angels. But even if we're not caring for angels, we are offering hospitality to the image and likeness of Christ that is in every living, breathing soul. And we have honored them by doing so. And we have lifted them up out of their daily, disconnected, disrespected, disjointed lives. We love to call ourselves the most connected society in the world. We are so disjointed and disconnected and isolated and lonely that when somebody goes out of their way to say, I value you, I want to host you, I want to offer you kindness and love and hospitality, though I don't know your name, though I don't know where you're from, you are worthy of all of that. And that is elevating the glory of God in the humanity of mankind. So I thank you for picking up that holy calling. I thank the sisters for being with us and them and all of their sisters and all of our Orthodox monks for continuing to set that model for us. If you haven't experienced it, go and visit the sisters. We have two other monasteries in this metropolis and there are monasteries around the world. See what that model of hospitality is all about and you will find out the origins and the inspiration for what we do here as well. God bless you. May God continue to bless this festival, this parish, and your lives with his blessings and his grace. And we welcome all of you who perhaps have joined us today either from out of town or maybe you are interested and you just decided to come because you came on a church tour during the festival. And even if you are on the internet this morning and didn't dare to come but said to yourself, I'm going to check that out because I want to see what it's all about here. We welcome you all with the hospitality of Abraham and with the joy of the Holy Spirit. Please rise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Christ our God, and I hope glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God. Through the prayers of his most holy and pure mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious apostles, the holy God-bearing fathers, the holy victorious martyrs of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, Saint Anthemus, the new ascetic, Anthemus of Cephalonia, Bab Saint Babylus, the holy martyr, Saint Hermione, the daughter of Saint Philip the deacon, and the Holy Prophet and God-seer Moses, whose memories we celebrate this day, our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and of all the saints, through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity bless and protect all of you. Thank you very much.